Hello everybody and welcome back to Spectre. Since the new update that added the Wendigo, it's been a pretty big update, I've had some issues surviving. So we're here today to talk about the most basic ways to survive a Wendigo, whether you're just nervous about it or expecting the ghost that you have right now to be one. First of all, let's just get into the game and then we're going to talk about the Wendigo a little bit before getting into how to survive from one. Now that we've loaded into the game, we're going to open up our journal and go to the Wendigo report. The Wendigo is an evil spirit originating in First Nations folklore in North America. They're said to cause those under their influence to have an insatiable greed and hunger, sometimes for human lives. Wendigos become faster as your sanity drops. I believe this is average team sanity. It's not only your sanity, so if you have 0%, let's say, it does not mean it's going to be extremely quick. It is the average of the people that are alive. So if all your teammates are dead, then it's only your sanity. If you're dead, it's your teammates' sanity, right? So just make sure that you guys have a decent amount of sanity as that is the most important thing when facing a Wendigo. It's just have as much sanity as possible, which can also be a little bit counterproductive as we usually get a challenge to drop our sanity to about 10%. So the best way to deal with this is to try to get the first two evidences for Wendigo, which is either fingerprints, freezing temperatures, or spirit box. So what you can do is go in, find freezing temperatures, as that's an instant, you know, evidence that you could find, and then try to get spirit box. Once you get that, you have the options between demon, mare, and wendigo. So if you're worried about it, you want to just try to find uh, some ways to survive, which are a little bit obvious. You could either get a crucifix, which, as you can see on the screen right now, if a ghost is coming at you extremely, extremely fast, you could just, you know get rid of it whenever you want right it shows up just bam gone right remove it from existence it's gone ghost won't come back until it decides to come back in like 10 seconds and then kills you right that's just how it works um or you could start to get your sanity back up so the ghost is a little bit slower right that's the second option right or you just hide behind your friends and sacrifice them that's a good option that i like doing right personally because i don't like adding these things because you know that costs a lot of money I'd rather just let my friends die, which is okay. There's three ways to increase your sanity. The first way is to make jokes to lighten the mood and to make you a little bit less worried, which is a little bit better for your friends because you just joke around with each other. You won't have to really even just look at this. Just ignore your squad sanity. Just don't care about it. If you die, you die, right? You're having fun with your friends. The second and fastest way is to just chuck a sanity soda or two, right? So we're at 49, drink one, we bounce up to like 71. It increases by like nearly a quarter of your sanity which is good um the third way is kind of the slowest but you can always bring candles inside the house so what we're going to do real quick is just head on over into the house which we're on private home and we have to place them inside the house Okay, as you can see, we're on 69 sanity, so we're going to just take this lighter and also the crucifix and our flashlight, and we're going to head back inside. So, the way to increase your sanity from using candles is to just make sure they're inside the building and close to each other, right? And you're close to them. So, if we just, uh, uh, you know, I'll be back. And when we come back over, we're just going to light up all the candles. So, we were at about 69 sanity before, right? And now we've been inside and we watched the ghost hunt for a little bit. So we're going to stay here for about 20 seconds, okay? I'll be back in about 20 seconds. All right, that was about 20 seconds. And we're going to see what our sanity is at now. And if it's still not above 69%, we'll go back in for a little bit longer. Just to make sure you guys see that it does increase sanity, which, as you can see, we're up to 60. We're just going to do it again for another 20 seconds, just so you can actually see that it does increase sanity. So let's enter our summoning circle, and we wait. All right, that was about 20 seconds again. So we're gonna get it outside and just look at what it's at. So it's above 70%, it'll be good, right? And as you can see, it is all the way up to about 74%, I think that says, yes. So it does increase it, right? So if you have a ghost named like Susan Lewis, just, just make sure you enjoy yourself, you know, just fill your stand up with candles, right? They don't cost that much. It just takes a little bit of time because you have to be inside, which risks your life. And also, um, you have to just sit by them. It just takes a little bit. So there are not really any 100% guarantees to just survive a Wendigo. Like, yeah, they get quite fast when you have low sanity. 
So just don't go low sanity, right? It doesn't really matter if you finish that challenge over there or not, right? Just just ignore it. It's just a little bit more money. Just your life is more important. Um, and if you're still worried, you could always just try to escape around corners, go up or down stairs, or even hide behind a friend as the Wendigo will sometimes get stuck in certain places or just stuck eating your friends. Just be careful as the Wendigo is an embodiment of gluttony, greed, and excess. It's never satisfied after killing and consuming a single person.